What's up, YouTube land? I'm back in the game with another video. Welcome back to my channel, J Rock TV. Hope you guys are having a great day, but I'm about to. On these idiots who realize or may not have realized that Funky Dineva is a repeated offender of attacking and disrespecting children. The reason why I say this, guys, is because earlier this year, he actually called Kaya's grandchild retarded. They were beefing. He made a video and actually alluded to the fact that Kaya's grandchild may be retarded. I don't know how true that is, but maybe he knows the inside scoop. But no matter how you slice it, to me, that's a far worse indictment on his character to attack someone's uh, grandchild that may be mentally retarded than actually calling someone else's child ugly. I'm sorry. They're both wrong, but to me, when you joke on someone's child or grandchild that may be retarded, to me, that's a far worse indictment on his character. And nobody, you know, just, well, maybe some people, but it wasn't this outcry, this backlash, and I understand who we're dealing with, but my question to you guys is, what makes Beyonce's daughter better than Kaya's grandchild? I never knew that, you know, just because someone is a much more, uh, you know, accomplished uh, entertainer in this business, that that would create boundaries and levels of how we treat children. Because keeping it all the way 100, everybody that's following Funky Dineva, everybody that viewed that video did not come at him the way that they're coming at him with Beyonce. They found that to be funny because it's Kaya. And I'm just calling out the hypocrisy, especially in the black community of how we separate. OK, it depends on who it is. It depends on their status, because clearly that's what's going on here. It's Beyonce. It's Kaya. Oh, F Kaya. We're going to we're going to ride with Beyonce. She's God. And how dare you call Blue Ivy ugly, but had no problem. Some of you guys had no problem with Funky Dineva calling Kaya's grandchild retarded. But you have a problem with him calling Blue Ivy ugly. This is the world that we live in now. Well, where. People worship a certain celebrity. And you want me to tell the truth right now? Some black people can be so fake, fraudulent, and phony to the point that it's ridiculous. We need to stop worshiping people like they're God. And when I see people worship Beyonce and run to her, you know, her every beck and call when somebody calls her out, it just lets me know like these people are so confused. When you worship Beyonce, you're worshiping someone who has sold their soul to Satan for riches and fame. She's no different than these Hollywood celebrities that want to keep their name and likes and stay relevant in the entertainment business. There's a price that you have to pay for that. And Beyonce is one of those individuals that's paying that price. We often use the term clickbait, especially in the YouTube community. You know, people always have their eyes open for people that, you know, name their videos or, or, or create their videos and then name them a certain way just to get clicks, just to get likes, maybe get subscribers if the video makes sense. Beyonce's whole life has been nothing but clickbait because she hasn't practiced anything that she preaches. And what I mean by that is all this independent woman stuff and fighting for women's rights and things of that nature. When Jay-Z disrespected her to the highest magnitude, where did she go? She didn't separate from him. She didn't, uh, you know, 
it's, it's clear that she hasn't filed for any type of divorce. She stuck with them. Why? Because she has a deal with the devil. She's locked into a contract. Who is her husband? Jay-Z. We all know that he sold his soul. Nas told you. So many people told you. It's evident. And I say all this to say, even though this may disturb a lot of people that are Beyonce's fan, I'm only here to tell you the truth. And the reason why I want to say this is because when you treat her differently in the Blue Ivy situation with Funky Daniva calling her ugly and don't recognize the fact that he called Kaya's grandchild retarded, but you thought it was funny and you didn't recognize it on the same level as Blue Ivy, it makes me wonder if Let's just say in some wild, wild world, you were around Beyonce's Blue Ivy and Kaya's grandchild and God forbid uh, the house that y'all were in caught on fire. Would you elect to save Beyonce's Blue Ivy over Kaya's grandchild, even if Kaya's grandchild was the easiest to save, but you went over the hill to go for Beyonce's child to make sure you save her because it's Beyonce's child. And it makes me think that way. It's like, oh, you know, F Kaya's grandchild is Beyonce's child, which means this will put me in the spotlight. This will give me higher recognition because Beyonce is the more worthy celebrity and, and with the highest profile. That's how some of us think. I say that and and my point is let's treat children the same. It shouldn't be levels to this when it comes to children. We should respect children all across the board. They are off limits. All right. It can't be not OK for one person, but it's all good just because it's someone like Kaya. It's not right. And back to the example that I just made about Beyonce's uh, daughter and Kaya's grandchild being in a burning house, which one would you save? I would elect to save both of them. I don't care who was the closest, who was the furthest. I'm going in that particular situation with the mindset that I'm coming out with both of those kids. I just question the minds and the people that worship Beyonce so much which one would they elect to go get first just to prove to her that they are uh, dedicated and prove to her that they're loyal people and loyal fans. This is how crazy Beyonce fans can be. But anyway, with that said, guys, I hope you like this video. Also share this video and subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be blessed. Peace.